Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This week's video is about creating a clickable link inside your PDF. So once you have done that, you'll be able to give it to your clients or your audience so that they can then access your other resources through the link that you have put inside that PDF. If you are new here, my name is Steve from stevenjohnsy.com. I create two videos a week, one video for personal development like this one, and the other uh, video is usually about health and nutrition. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a new video. As you can see, uh, I'm on the homepage of canva.com. So we will start by uh, signing in or signing up uh, to uh, create an account if you haven't yet. Uh, it's free to create a Canva account and then you can access all these templates here. And if you want to try Canva uh, for Pro where you will have uh, access to so many other templates and different other uh, graphics, you can uh, uh, try uh, Canva uh, uh, Pro for 30 days. I'll leave the link down below if you want to try that. And then uh, after 30 days, you can decide whether you want to continue with that. I'm sure you will love it. Uh, but uh, without further ado, let's get into this. Um, so to create a clickable link, all you need is to create a PDF first and then uh, insert that, that clickable link so that uh, your audience can access uh, whatever you are providing. So I've created a PDF here. Um, as you can see, it's just a PDF that I'm working on. Um, it's not finished yet, but I will use this as an example um, on how to start your blog and then start any extra income um, with your blogging. So in this uh, um, PDF, as you can see, I've got uh, photos inside there. I've got some website. Uh, that I uh, can link so that people can go and then access uh, um, those links or those websites or those pages in the website. Uh, so what I will do, I'll do one for a photo as well because you can put a clickable link inside a photo as well inside your PDF or just use the, the place like a website um, URL that you want uh, them to go to. Uh, so what I'll do first, um, I will click onto that um, I'll just uh, close this so you can see more. Um, yeah, I will click onto that website uh, that I've got there. That's my website. Uh, you can check it out if you like. I've got uh, a lot of free resources there for you guys if you want. So I'll click on that. And then on the um, top toolbar, as you can see, there's a toolbar across there. There's a link that comes up there, link, link sign. So click on that and then write, um, type in the link that you want people to visit. So I'll type my website here. Um, and uh, um, uh, once you've typed it, you then click apply and this will become a link. Once we have saved the PDF and uh, this now will become clickable and that's what you do. And then as you can see, it's got an underline there. So once you saved it, when you click there, it will uh, open the page. So I will um, then uh, maybe go to a photo somewhere. Um, okay, let's do this. And on this photo, I'll click on that as well and I'll go to the link as you can see there and then uh, I'll set uh, maybe uh, my blog page as well. Um, I've got a blog on my website so if you want to go and check out the blog as well I've got a lot of different uh, blog um, posts there so um, let me check make sure it's all right and that's it. Uh, then uh, when someone clicks on that photo or when they hover over it they'll be a sign that is clickable and then they can go and check it out my blog page and the other thing that you can do i'll go down to the end of the page where i think i've got all the contact uh, details there you go yeah so uh, to stay connected with me i'll insert the email so i'll just click on there and then i'll go to the link as well and, and insert yeah, the email that i want you to when you click there and you want to contact me you can uh, get that access to to send me um that message that you want to send um, 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 that's it. If I click on that, so that becomes a link. And then I, if I go to Facebook, so you can get them to go and visit your Facebook page. I'll, I'll open my Facebook page and then get the URL there. I'll grab that URL, I'll copy that, and then I'll come back to the PDF and then um, click on that. I'll go to the link as well as you can see, and then I'm going to paste that uh, Facebook uh, link there and I'll apply that. That will become a link as well. And I'll do the same for my Instagram account. I think it's open. Yeah. Um, uh, my Instagram account, I'll get the URL as you can see, it's up there as well. I'll grab that URL. Um, that's my uh, Facebook. Um, 
Instagram account as well. You can visit me if you want as well. I've got some also on this um, URL there on, on the bio, uh, the link on the bio. I've got so many resources when you open that. So that's, that can really, really help you on your journey. Um, so with Instagram, I'll do the same. I'll go to the link. I'll paste my URL there. And then that's it. Uh, that's all you do. So let's check them to make sure we've um, uh, inserted them. Um, by now saving the PDF. So I'll save the PDF as a PDF uh, standard uh, because I'm still working on it. So I'm just, it's not ready yet. But I, usually I'll um, print out uh, or save it with a PDF print um, because people, oh, you know, download it, some would want to print it. So just to have a quality photos inside there. So what I'll do now, I will uh, uh, save it. I'll come up here and save it. And then I will say um, uh, download. Um, and then we should be downloading as you can see so that's how easy it is and then let's see if um, what we've done works uh, if you are still here thanks for staying on and tuning in I appreciate your support and don't forget to subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a new video I appreciate all your help guys alrighty now we've got a PDF there uh, so I'll just open it and then so we can check it and there it is as you can see that's the pdf there so now i'm going to click here so that we can check to make sure it opens um the page or the link we've put in there as you can see it's opening you see it's got a hand there it's clickable link so it should open now um as you can see it goes uh to my website that i put there um as you can see guys this is how you do it um yeah it's a uh, there is, as you can see, it goes to the website. So I'll go back so that I can open maybe Instagram or Facebook so I can see uh, whether it works. Uh, let's go to, um, I think it's page 14, uh, the last page. Uh, I'll just open maybe Instagram. Uh, the rest is just the same, guys. You do it the same and that's it. That's all your links put in. Uh, so I'll open, um, as you can see, it's got a, uh, it's linked, it's got a line underlining in there. So I'll just click on that and then it should open uh, my Instagram account. Um, yeah, so that's how easy it is, guys. As you can see, it's opened my Instagram account. And then that's how you can um, uh, create a clickable link and then uh, get people to access uh, all other links that you have. So someone can come here and then they will see that tab link, uh, link and then they can go there and get all those resources that I've got in there. Wherever you want to send them, they can uh, go through if you put that into the PDF link. It's a good way of uh, getting people to learn more about what you offer uh, once they've up uploaded or downloaded your PDF. And uh, that's it, guys. If you've got any questions, please uh, leave the comments below and uh, I will find answers for you. Uh, Otherwise, you have a wonderful day and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so that we can get notified every time I post a new video. Uh, otherwise, guys, I'll leave it here and I will see you in the next one. You take care. Bye.